reimagine your temperament, that many people have these self-defeating ideas, these self-defeating beliefs about themselves that really degrade uh, their, their performance, their happiness, their life satisfaction, their, their, their outlook on life. One of the most pernicious beliefs uh, that's now become kind of folk psychology is this idea that willpower is a limited resource. Yeah. Many people, most people believe this, that you run out of willpower like gas in a gas tank or battery charge on your phone. And uh, for a while, there, th this theory did have some scientific backing. There was actually one psychologist who, who showed this in studies that we run out of willpower like we would gas in a gas tank. And as we do in the social sciences, when a study sounds a little too good to be true, when it sounds fishy, we don't take it on faith. We rerun the study and we call this a replication. So it turns out that when we try to replicate what what this uh, it's called ego depletion ego depletion is the idea that we run out of willpower like gas in a gas tank when we re-ran these studies they didn't replicate and it turns out that we're, pr we're pretty sure you know with science is never conclusive you can always get more evidence but from the currently available evidence where there's been meta studies now studies of studies that find that this is not true that we do not run out of willpower like gas in a gas tank except except in one group of people Carol Dweck, who you, you probably know from her book, Mindset, yep. she's a fantastic researcher at Stanford. She found that there is in fact one group of people who really do experience ego depletion. They really do run out of willpower like gas in a gas tank. And those people, and only those people, are people who believe <laughs> that willpower is a limited resource. That's it. <laughs> and so this is a wonderful illustration of how damaging these self-limiting beliefs can be. One of the most common self-limiting uh, self beliefs these days is around how technology is hijacking our brains, how it's addicting everyone. Yeah. Because when people believe there's nothing that can be done, right? If your brain is hijacked, guess what people do? Nothing. <laughs> they, uh, I can't do anything about it. I'm powerless. Yeah. And so that's why it's so important to be very careful about the beliefs you let into your head.